Hey there DIYers, I just had my hot water heater replaced after it rusted out and leaked into my first floor, flooding it out. To prevent this in the future, I installed a leak detecting auto shutoff valve. For $105 from Amazon, it comes with a valve, controller, sensors, AC adapter, and a manual. To get started, we're going to turn off the cold water supply line to the heater and then open a nearby hot water faucet and let the pressure bleed from the tank and line. Find where your tank connects to the supply line and disconnect it. But be ready with a towel just in case there's water in the line and it leaks out. We're going to go ahead and screw on the new valve. Use Teflon tape or plumber's putty on the threads to prevent leaking. Now I'm using a pair of pliers here just to tighten everything up. And then when I get done with this, I'm going to go ahead and connect a three quarter inch male to male adapter so that I can connect up the hot water heater because it didn't have the right connection on the valve that I purchased. As soon as I get this all tight, I'm going to go ahead and connect back up the water heater. And then I'm going to plug the valve controller into the control. Then I press the open button on the controller to open the valve. To test this, I'm going to short across the two leads on the sensor and that will close the valve and sound an alarm. Just like this, I'm going to touch it to the side metal on the uh, drip tray and that's going to trigger the alarm. To reset it, you're going to press reset on the control panel, it's the far left button. You're going to wait for about three seconds and then press the open button to set everything back to the way it works to regular mode. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and for more DIY and home improvement projects, please see the rest of my videos. Have a great week.